Well, one thing that I think is really, really important in the winter is your hook choice. I tend to find when the fish are feeding very finicky and it's, you know, hard fishing, the fish are moving about very slowly, using very light little hooks and getting the correct balance with what hook for what bait is really important so that the fish can suck the bait in a lot easier and you tend to get better bites and more bites by choosing the correct hook. So I'm just going to show you the different hooks that I use during the winter and also what length for hook lengths and what the amount of lines that I tend to tie up. Just as a bit of a general guide. So my two lengths of hook lengths that I tend to choose are four and five inch and these eight inch guru boxes are perfect for that. I can get a four inch and a five inch hook length in the same side of the box perfectly like that and basically i use a five inch hook length for pretty much the majority of me fishing in the winter i just find it's a good length for fishing anything from sort of three foot plus fishing with maggots all sorts of different baits the five inch is perfect the only time i ever use these four inch hook lengths is for when i'm fishing with pellets and a soft pellets in particular i just tend to find with soft pellets you need a shot nice and close to the hook to register the bite. So I do tie a few four inch hook lengths as well. But I think five inch is probably the best all round length. In terms of the patterns of hooks, I've got some F1 pellet hooks from Guru and also F1 maggot hooks. And they're tied on 010. And I've got size 20, size 18. So it tends to be, I use 18 for when I'm fishing with like pellets and then maybe like bread. And then the 20s is my general hook for when I'm fishing uh, with light maggot, single double maggot, nice light hook. And then I've also got some Super LWGs in 18s and 16s and some F1 pellets in 18s and 16s tied up on 011. So that's just when I'm catching a few more carp, maybe some bigger F1s or when I'm fishing again like bread and catching slightly better stamp fish in the winter. And that just keeps everything nice and simple. I've got two main, two main lengths of hook lengths and a couple of different types of hooks for covering all my winter fishing, all in one box.